First off, on the Daily Dish, Mwabudu shared email from Wale Shrinka. It was all over the news yesterday, a young man refused to give up his window seat for the Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shrinka on a plane. Now the young one had gotten to his seat to find Wale Shrinka there and according to Tony Eko who shared the details of the incident, the young one told Wale Shrinka that the seat he was on is his and he wanted to sit there. Tony Eko and a few others including media mogul Mo Aburu faulted the young man for doing that. So, so sad the young man will get what he truly deserves. That is definite, Mo said as a comment on that Cole's post. Mo has now taken to Instagram to share an email she received from Shrinka concerning the incident. Good morning, beautiful people. It's 6.30 a.m. here in LA. Quite a bit has been said about me making certain comments about the young man that refused to give up his seat for Professor Wale Shrinka, she said in an Instagram post. She continued, I will not comment further on this. However, as you all know, I love and respect Professor Wale Shoinka dearly. Based on this incident, I did receive an email from the professor this morning. She then went ahead to share the email with Wale Shoinka's permission, and it reads thus. Hello Mo, someone sent me Patrick Tonya's comment on the plane incident, and I saw your brief comment. It was a very minor thing and I had forgotten all about it. However, after reading the boy's response, I became curious. First, I never exchanged a word with him throughout beyond inviting him to take his allotted seat. Never spoke a word to him after that, certainly never exchanged contact. So of course, I wonder if this very individual who's posted this or a total fake. The phenomenon of stolen identities takes very strange dimensions and has become a source of worry. I wonder if this is one of such. Anyway, of your finding out, I don't operate in social media as you probably recall. To be honest, I feel like as if this whole thing shouldn't even be in the news, but it's very important that it was in the news because it's important for people to understand that when you pay for an allocated seat on an airplane, um, you shouldn't, you, why, you, why should someone else be able to take your seat because they're older than you? It has absolutely nothing to do with respect. And if we're even talking about respect, how about if we respect the airline's rules and sit in the seats that you were allocated? Like, I don't understand how people were actually bashing this young man for asking for something he rightly paid for. It has nothing to do with respecting your elders, it has nothing to do with any of that. So, as long as Wale Shoyeka didn't see a problem with it, I don't know why Mr. Tonyeko felt the need to use this boy as an example that wasn't really an example. I think respect is in fact reciprocal and you don't have to be old for me to respect you. I can respect a two-year-old because that is the human thing to do. Next up on the Daily Dish, Cristiano Ronaldo allegedly gives tip of 18,000 pounds. Now, according to the Daily Mail, the Juventus striker, his girlfriend and his four children stayed at the Western Resorts Costa Navarino for a second consecutive year, but the world's media did not manage to get any photos of the group at the five-star resort where their stay is believed to have cost in the region of £7,000 a night. They soaked up the Grecian sun before continuing their holidays on a super yacht in the French Riviera. But before they left Greece, Ronaldo, who was clearly very happy how they kept the paparazzi away from them at the Greek hotel, reportedly left the hotel workers a 20,000 euro, which is a 10,000 pound tip for their service. Man, money brags different. Next up, Cardi B pleads not guilty to felony charges. Cardi B on Tuesday pled not guilty to several charges from an alleged attack at a New York strip club in 2018. Reuters reports that Cardi is facing two felony charges for attempted assault with intent to cause serious physical injury. She was also charged with various misdemeanors including reckless endangerment and violations, including harassment. Cardi is facing 12 charges in all and a grand jury last Friday indicted Cardi B based on the charges after she rejected a plea deal back in April. Two bartenders at the strip club alleged that Cardi B ordered her associates to attack them with bottles and chairs. Cardi's lawyers have said they're not aware of any evidence showing Cardi caused any harm. I just hope she doesn't go to jail. On our Spicy or Not segment, this Kamuto Summer 2019 campaign. 
Vince Camuto and Liz leading face Jasmine Sanders to appear in its summer 2019 campaign. Photographed by James McCary, Golden Barbie models effortlessly chic stacks. From the wet sandals to printed pumps, Jasmine shines in every show. A minimal backdrop brings laid-back vibes to the portraits. Benoit Moyet works on her hair and makeup is by Charlotte J.